Guys, I just got back from the Bar Z Summer Bash 2018. And holy cow, if you guys aren't going next year, you're really going to miss out. If you guys have been wondering what this thing is, <laughs> stay to the end of the video and I will tell you. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the old iron shop. Alright guys, the mystery tool is called a twist gauge, right? So whenever you're hand scraping something, and uh, if you're familiar with the three plate method of uh, generating a plane, theory is if you have three surfaces that will mate together perfectly, then they have to be flat, right? That's the theory. Although there is one exception to that. Uh, it works pretty good if you have round objects or things that are square because what what you need to be able to do is to rotate it and check for a twist. Now, if you have things, you know, if you can imagine two plates and they had a twist, that's greatly exaggerated. But you could flip that in for end. So if you're using a rectangular plate and you just flip it end to end to check it, it's still going to show you that you have a good plate, even though it could have a pretty dramatic twist in it. It's possible to have three plates with that same situation. So, the way you check, you take a tool like this, and it doesn't have to be near as fancy as what I've made here. It could just be a piece of bar. You mount an indicator in there, and then you need points out here at either end. Then you can take this thing, you can kind of set it on the plate, and it'll rest on these pins, and you'll be able to see a deviation on your indicator. So you would move around, check different spots. It's kind of almost like uh, using a repeat -a meter or something like that. Although I don't think this is going to be really a replacement for that. But that's what this tool is for. So this will tell you if you have a twist. If anybody thinks they might want one of these, uh, this one's going to be six inches from pin to pin. Uh, let me know. I mean, be no problem. I was just going to make up one, but uh, I think there's probably you know, some interest out there. If you guys want more of these, let me know. And, uh, you know, I got the pattern, so we make pretty much as many as we need, right? All right, guys, click on the old horizontal mill icon over here, and I will try to put links to all the creators that I know of that were at the bash, and certainly the ones that are in my video down below in the description.